Ben Favatio here. Welcome to another album artwork show where we look at the covers instead of the music. And today we're looking at Australian rock pop band In Excess. A very popular band. I like this band quite a lot. We've got 29 covers to look through today. And this, what I found was this, with this one is... A, how many titles come we can come up for compilation albums and we're not very imaginative with our um, creative covers so this is all about names of compilation LPs because I have released quite a lot since the sad death of Michael so coming in at number 29 we have a compilation and this one was from 2002 and it is called the best of in excess Okay, it says what it says on the tin. It's got the distinctive In Excess logo and the best of. Okay, then coming in at number 28, we go for another compilation that came out in 2011. And this one's called The Very Best of In Excess. Same background, same logo, and a picture of Michael that's sort of just been copied and pasted and it's not very good and I think I could probably produce a better cover on my simple um, R program than that using the same pictures and the same logo but mine would look a much better than that I might do that as a bit of fun see if I can do a better version of it okay Coming in at number 27, another compilation album. This is called The Remixes. And it came out in 2004. I don't own this one because it's just been given to a lot of dance people who have just totally mullered in excess. It is terrible. Um, the cover's not that outstanding, is it, either? Yeah. A bit boring. Okay then, coming in at number 26, we go to a box set of all their albums that came out in 2014 called All The Voices. Now it's red background with the logo on it. Still very boring, but it's a bit more colourful. Okay then, coming in at number 25, an album, a compilation album from 2011 called Remastered. They've got the sort of stars from the in the logo, in excess in the bottom. I don't like it, really. It's an album I don't own either. I, don't, I think I've only got one sort of compilation album of in excess. It's once you put, you don't, you know, why do you need all these albums, all the hits on? You don't. Okay, then coming in at number 24, we have another compilation album. And this one, they've called it Shine Like It Does Anthology 1997 to 1997. 2001, this come out. We've got one of the stars just blown up, the logo on a white background. And just tell you what it is. Again, does what it says on the tin, but... It's a little bit dull and boring. Okay, and coming at number 23. Now, how lazy is this? This is, I don't know if it's because they, it had a different name in different countries, but in 2002, they brought out an album called Definitive In Excess. And this is the cover of that. But in the same year as well, they brought out as the same album, but with a different title called The Years, 1997 to 1979 to 1997. And they just put, instead of it says definitive, they put the year, that the title. Great imagination there, but it's a better put together um, album cover, actually, because it's got the band on as well. Okay, then, coming in at number 22... Another compilation album from 19, 8, 1994. It's just called 
the greatest hits. Um, I think that's just a picture of Michael's torso. Got to put his head on. Okay, then coming at number twenty-one, another compilation. This one's called Taste It, a collection from 2006. It's a bit different. They haven't got that star. They've gone for the lips. Ah, still not brilliant. Um, but yet again, another compilation. Up. Okay, then, coming in at number 20. We've got a live album. And a pretty good album it is as well. And it's in excess live at Barker Hangar. Not a great cover, the same logo, little stars on the background of the in the black. At least it's not just pure black. We're getting better at album for compilations and lives. Okay, number nineteen is another live album. This is and look a remix of Live Baby Live. That's a great picture of Michael. Um, but it's the same picture as the original album. So this one came out in, two, in 2019. Um, I've listened to it, but I haven't got it. Um, so coming in at number... 18 is another compilation it's more of their earlier stuff and it's called original sin the collection from 2004 little play on the name and the writing it's okay i have got not too much of a problem with it it's a little bit more imagination but not that clever Okay, then coming in at number 17, we'll go to another Greatest Hits album, and some and Seriously Live, it's called Platinum Greatest Hits, and Seriously Live from 2010. A woman's torso, I like the star on the glove though, on the disc, I don't mind that, but again, it's just a compilation album, a little bit different. Okay, then coming at number 16, we actually got an album, uh, one of the studio albums from 1990, 10 or X, bits of hair and the X, in excess sort of X, it's alright, nothing special. Okay, coming in at number 15, this is a little bit different, total different, it's a Another compilation called In Excessive 1980 to 1982 that came out in 1982. We've actually got a picture of the band on the front and some different colours. There's a bit of green, a bit of red, a bit of blue in there. A bit different. So, okay, coming at number 14, it's literally the same album that was only released in the United States in 2002. Same album, different title, and it's called Stay Young, 1980 to 1982. And it's a very, very early picture of the band. When they looked about 10. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, then, coming at number 13, got a live album. And I have got this one. Live at Wembley Stadium, 1991, came out in 2014. I do like that one because it's a picture of the band on the stage. Pretty cool. Okay then, coming in at number 12, we go to another studio album now from 1985 and it's Listen Like Thieves, good album. I do like this though. Um... It's very hard. I don't know if you can see this looking at this, but there is a silhouette of someone in it in the gold in excess. Listen, like thieves could have been a bit more uh, so you can see it. But uh, I do like the effect. It's pretty good. One of the better covers. 
Okay, then coming in at number 11, we'll go to 1982 now, and their album Shabu Shaba. Not a particular favourite cover of mine. I think this was in my Stinkers, very first Stinkers album covers. It's still a stinker, but not as bad as some of the ones we've looked at. Yeah, weird cover. Okay, then we're now into the top ten, and they do get better. I'm not going to be giving them a bash, really, from now on. Um, as it's a game of two halves with this band, nine really boring covers, and then ten pretty good covers. So we go to 1984 and the album The Swing. Again, a really young picture of In Excess. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've got no problem with that one. Okay, then, coming in at number nine, we're going to 1993 now. And I think this is a great picture of the band. It's from their Full Moon Dirty Hearts album. That is a super picture of In Excess. In the back of a van. Yeah, very tall. Tall thing. Michael looks great on that. He really does. That's a great cover. I like that one a lot. Okay, then, coming at number eight, we go to 1992, and welcome to wherever you are. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's the Australian version of the Church Lads Brigade, or whatever they call themselves today. Uh, I like the lad on the... What she said. Well, as I'm looking at it now, it is to my left. That'll probably be... Uh, it's got a big chessy grin on there. The other one, look, the one in the middle looks very mischievous. And the other one, the other side is just being pim and proper. Okay then, coming in at number seven, we're going to 1997 now. And the elegantly wasted album. That's pretty good. I couldn't find a half decent picture of it though without that stupid sticker on. Yeah, don't like when they put these mindless stupid stickers on. But I like that picture. Yeah, car crash. She's walking, going, "Oh, what have I done?" And the band just looking on, going, "Hey, you're a bit our tour bus." So I think it looks like their tour bus. Okay, then coming in at number six, we've already sort of featured this, but this is from 1991 and the Live Baby Live album. I prefer that picture. I like how they've put Live Baby Live. You can just about see it, but it's a great live album. And uh, that's a great picture of Michael. Okay, then coming at number five, we go to one of their early albums now, uh, 1981, Underneath the Covers. I just love that. I think it's very simple. A bit of a groovy dancing thing. Um, not bad at all, is it? Nice and colourful. Okay, then coming in at number four, one of my favourite album, Kick from 1987. Great picture. Great album. Pretty cool. Okay, then coming in at number three, we go way back, the very first one, self titled 1980s In Excess. Uh, I like that. It, it's a take on an, on L.S. Lowry, I think. Um, a modern sort of version of it. I like that idea. I mean, I, I do like Lowry's pictures. Um, if, you know, if, for those of you who know, he used to like do these matchstick men. There was a song about it by Brian and Michael. Um, but, um, yeah, I like that cover. It's pretty cool. Okay then, coming at number two, we go to the album after Michael had died, and it's from 2005, Switch. Like the idea of the cover, you know, Michael had sadly gone, they wanted to carry on, they got a new singer in. Like the concept of that, and it's a pretty cool cover. But, my number one cover, and it's my number one cover for a reason, and when you see it, and I'll tell you what it is, it's some... Um, that compilation where people come on and sung their favourite songs 
by NSS Original Sin. And you know why that's my favourite cover? Because it's got a tiger on it. <laughs> Always going to be um, my favourite. As I think, as you know, I really like pictures of tigers. So it was a no-brainer for this one when I said, right, I'll do the NXS cover. So the first thing when I went at the top of the page, Original Sin. Didn't even have to look at it. I knew that it would be my number one. Okay, then that's all for shows today, but not the, uh, nothing else. We have got something else tonight, of course, and that is, of course, the live stream. Um, I'll be here at 8 o'clock tonight, British summer time. With my other faithful hound, Rocky, who's fast asleep. He got me up at four o'clock this morning. Unbelievable. But uh, he'll be here. By now he's sleeping now, but um, I'm sure by eight o'clock he'll be full alive. Also, Mastermind Dave will be here, answering all your questions and going the encyclopedia of music. So I'll see you all later. Um, if this is the first time you're watching, um, give me a little thumbs up. And uh, if you like what we do on the channel, why not subscribe? Because all you need is a click uh, and a click on the bell, and uh, you'll never miss anything we put out because we put out stuff all the time, except Saturdays and Sundays when I have a rest. So what we got for you tomorrow, we have got a live album ranking and we're doing Slade. I'm going to look through the Slade album because next month we'll be doing an unravelling of the new Slade live box set. And tomorrow also we have got a new album um, review and we're looking at the new one from Chicago, Born for the Moment. So either join me today, later today at 8 p.m. on the live stream, or I'll see you all tomorrow. And as always, the live stream will be put up and left for you to watch at your leisure. So have a great day, everyone. Keep cool in this warm weather again. Look after your pets, and I'll see you, t see you later or tomorrow. Bye for now.